Um, what do you see as the major roadblocks to actually having food sustainability in the way you talk about it become national priority? Well, it's a very good question. That's sort of the essence of the whole, any type of movement for progress, isn't it? Uh, and I see where there's really two ways to answer that. Um, one is that uh, we have to increase the audience. You know, I still think that we can uh, create, I think there can be a large enough movement from a grassroots and from sort of the bottom up with awareness than there is from the top down. And even though I feel that there will eventually have to be um, a dual, sort of a, a two-fold approach from, from both aspects because as we all know, uh, we don't have enough time. We sort of have a time clock that's moving right now on this. And so I really, I really feel even though my intent is through awareness, to, to gain awareness, um, it's through, it, it is through grassroots efforts like this. If everybody can go out, it's sort of a pyramiding type of thing. Because you're right, I mean, you know, I spoke after Michael Pollan did it at a, at a university, and he garnered, I think, 15,000 people to hear what they wanted to hear which is, you know, let's just continue doing what we've been doing, but do it in a slightly different manner. Whereas, you know, I had a great audience, but it was a few hundred. And so, but I think that, you know, if we can take all those people and continue the movement, I think that's the best approach, although there will have to be a top-down uh, uh, facet at some point in time. In other words, we will have to enforce, we all know that there are gonna be people who could care less in one fashion or another, sadly. Um, they don't wanna become aware. And um, so we'll have to have a top-down approach for them. So I think if we can approach it from both aspects, and sooner or later the resources will talk for themselves. There, there are many policymakers right now that have on their desk, especially in Western states, where their water is going. And with 90% or more of the, like for instance, a very small example to, to help you see how problems can be solved. It'll start with that, with 90% of the Colorado River right now. Uh, being diverted for agriculture and 78% of that to, 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 uh, to livestock, you know, sooner or later, at the same time that they're imposing, um, you know, regulations for water use, their, their policymakers are going to have to address the fact that, you know, grass-fed or not, this is where, this is where the water is going. So I, I don't have any other solutions other than through, you know, through what we're doing here and I guess to, you know, to specify the first part of your question is that, um, I think everybody in this room is to be, is to be commended uh, for being here and for taking the steps in their own lives, regardless of where you are in the journey, that at least you're here listening to the reality of things rather than the other. I don't, don't know what the population of your student base is, but every single one of them should be here and listen to this. Um, so until we get to that stage, you know, it's going to be very difficult, but there will be a tipping point. And so I hope that helps a little bit. We can answer it more. Can I just Later. ask one other thing? Sure. What do you think the um, issue has been with arguing for vegetarianism over these other smaller steps, like saying grass-fed or local? Or why is it that people are so attached to meat and they well, can't seem to let it? Well, you had to pick. No, it's it's a great question, but that's the essence of various parts of my presentation. Uh, I tried to not beat it up too much, but basically, you know, the the bloodletting sort of summed up the whole thing. We're we're battling you know, something that trumps just about every type of decision or, or thought process in our world, which is culture. Culture trumps religion. It trumps what, it trumps uh, behaviors that are right to do, that are just to do, that are fair to do, and that make sense. Culture will trump all that. So until we, you know, can find ways to work through that, um, that's, that's been the largest hurdle. Um, and so, you know, well, you know, we're working on it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to stop very, very soon, so. <laughs>